Good morning, folks. We'll take a look at the sun and new sunspot groups. We've got an excellent look at galactic astronomy that pushes forward a decade-old observer idea. And then, to top it off, a very nuanced review of solar forcing of the Earth's atmosphere. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find now several bright active regions and several thin dark plasma filaments on the disk. We have several items to watch for eruptive activity in the coming days, both with those filaments and flaring activity from the sunspots. These central active regions were born over the last 48 hours and are still in their youth, developing and growing. It's actually a string of active regions all at the same heliographic latitude, including one well behind the bigger Earth-facing groups, it's still incoming from the left side. The leading group, the largest one, let out a small M-class flare this morning. No CME was produced, but it was the first battle cry of these new sunspots and we'll continue to watch them as they turn across the Earth-facing half of the sun. First of two good articles today relates to their latest theory on dark matter. As veterans will recall, it used to all be about weakly interacting massive particles wimps, and after eight years of us saying they would never find them and they didn't exist, they finally had to admit they didn't exist, and so they moved on to axion dark matter, which we also said didn't exist. We have seen several previous studies come up empty, and now there is an excellent review of large-scale galactic astronomy revealing two death blows of inconsistency between axion science and real observations of the universe. No, they don't exist either. Lastly here today, an incredibly aware short communication about the sun and the atmosphere. They do bring up human-caused global warming, and they say that neither sunspots nor solar irradiance luminosity changes could be responsible for Earth's temperature changes, but they slip in the idea that it's not the sunspots or luminosity, but solar wind charged particles and magnetic fields. They're playing a political game to get published while still advocating for the real mechanism of solar forcing. It was very cleverly done. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn a lot more in the resource links listed in the description box below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.